You have a demon, eh? This is a demon. What are you doing to her? Huh? What are you doing? Come, oh, brother. Are you together with her? Huh? It's my wife. So why don't you manifest like her? And you are just hiding like this. You want a child? Yes. How long? It's 10 years now, man of God. 10 years? Yes, man ah. of God. 10 years when I know, man. 10 years? Yes, man of God. Do you go to church? We go to the church. Huh? We go. Where? Somewhere through the port. Yeah, say, I go to churches. No. Do you go to church? Churches. You go to churches? Isn't yes. It? Yeah. You don't go to church. A Christian will go to church. A non-Christian will go to churches. So Satan always will make sure that he block you on what you want. To check your genuineness yes, in your Christian life. It's useless to rush to have children when you cannot maintain them. And when you have to maintain your children, the first thing, you maintain them in the Lord, not with money. Yes, in the God. Lord. So you cannot have children when you are turning around everywhere. This is a demon. This is a demon. You demon. What are you doing to my sister? She <coughs> wants to vomit. Yes, man of God. Allow her to vomit today. Brother, child is needed. Even yourself, go and vomit. Come on. Come on. If we hear you are given things when you are asleep, stand up. Come on. Come on. If we hear you are under attack, 10 years, it's too much. Take him there also, he, he, he vomit close to his wife. Brother, go and get a job. Lift up your hands. In Jesus' mighty name. Because this spirit is delaying you. But I'm telling you, this month is your month. And after, listen. After you get a job, I'm seeing a car. And these ladies that have been denying you. <laughs> you heard what I said? Yes. I'm saying there's a car that is coming. Amen. You'll get it. This job, you'll get it. Yeah, I will really start car. on Wednesday. Huh? I will start on Wednesday. You are starting on Wednesday. Yes. Give glory to God. And there's a car now. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're in charity. Whatever we say, whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter how long it will take, but you will see it. You are starting when? Wednesday. And I'm giving you two months. On the third month, you'll be having a car. Amen. Take this brother aside for deliverance. This is a demon here. Okay. Let me bless you. Come here. So where's your friend? Where's your friend, my brother? Eh? How many do you have? So, another one, where is this one? The taller one. Eh? The taller one. Eh? Eh? It worked. Where? You're afraid. I don't know, but you're afraid. When I say I don't know, it's because because some people you say that you're afraid. They're not living right. You hear my brother? Pastor? Yes. This year, a person, if he's wise, must check his friends. If you are wise, you understand? Yes. You see, when people come to me, 
because I've got a church and maybe I've got 500 people. That doesn't mean that I'm a big man of God. You understand? Yes. You must learn to dissect. If you speak for this friend and tomorrow you find a scandal, they will say you are involved. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. Eh? Uh, this year, can you pray? You ask God. Because otherwise you will say, what I'm saying is what you know. Are you aware of what I'm saying? It's true. Yes. Eh? Yes, I'm aware. Yes, I'm trying to speak like this. This year, you need to dissect friends. You understand? That's the reason why you are down. You see why you are down? Eh? You are rating wrong people. You hear what I said? Eh? Yes. And you will never, with this grace, as long as you are in the ministry. But look here, they are coming to overtake you. And you are speaking for them. Eh? He said, this is a big man of God. He's good. But what will happen to you? Zero. If I'm you, I put myself aside. You hear me? Eh? Yes. Can you hear me? You know what I'm talking about. I understand. You. So God loves you. Sister, your grandmom, your grandmom, they are calling you to be a sangoma, sister. That's true. They are calling you to be a sangoma. And this spirit has been blocking you every night. There's a brother there. Who's wearing white? He's even talking there. Ash. My God. Sister, they are calling you to be a sangoma. Yes, last night huh? I came. I came a snake. Huh? Last night. They are calling you to be a sangoma. I and a listen, this is your grandma. You must forgive. Yes. You must forgive. Uh, you hear me? Yes. You must forgive. And if you do that, God will bless you. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. Because every night this spirit is coming to you. Yes. So, sometimes you dream yourself you'll be underwater. Yes. Huh? Yes. This is the spirit of witchcraft. Yes. Yes. Say, yes. So why are you not getting married? Been, why are you not getting married? I've been disappointed over and over. Huh? I passed through disappointment for so I, many. I can't hear you. I've been disappointed for many years. Every time I get in a relationship, I'm disappointed. Yeah, this, always you get relationship, you get disappointment. Yes. Huh? Yes. So whom are you blaming? Mm. Huh? My father. You blame your father? Mm -hmm. Why you blame your father? Because of the background where huh? I come from. I can't hear you. Because of the background where I come from, yeah. So you blame your father. Mm. Why don't you blame yourself? Is your father a witch? <laughs> eh? No, he was a witch doctor. So if he's a witch doctor, why do you blame him if you have Jesus? Then it's my and, fault. And who are you? You're a prophetess. Eh? And your prophetess, you are born by a witch doctor. Are you not a witch doctor too? Eh? How can you blame your father? You are getting cursed yourself. When you come to Jesus, the past is gone. You understand? Amen. Eh? Amen. How can you blame your father? Here you are calling yourself prophetess. How can you blame your father? If you are prophetess, don't you find and you break the case if it's coming from your father's side. Huh? I'm standing. Jesus' name. Come on. Jesus' name. I want to pray for you so that you marry. Come on. Come on. Out. Your spirit of tradition. Out. Jesus' name.
bring her to me. You are free. There's a lady here. Uh, you, you thought you've got HIV. When you went to test, you realize you're negative. But there's fear that is still killing you. Please come. I pray for you. This fear will kill you. I want to pray for you. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. You went to test. Yes. Oh, you thought yes. you were positive. Yes. Oh? Yes. When you reach there, you realize you're negative. Yes. But still you've got fear. Yes. Huh? Yes. You've got fear because of these people that are feeding you in the night. Yes, it is true. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. So today I'll pray for you. This fear will leave you. I receive. In Jesus' name. I receive. Come out. Pastor. 